I am honestly so excited right now. In your mind, Mav, is Northern Lights or Pink Panther better? I like for I like this one right here. Yeah, Northern, Northern Lights. Lights? Yeah. I'm going with it. Yeah. Northern Lights it is. Dinner Bell, large Northern Lights. Brown Trout, Wisconsin. All right, so we're setting up the final tip up right here. And then Sam and Murray are getting iFish Pro's rods ready. You're allowed three lines a person in Wisconsin, so we're gonna take full advantage of that. It's best to have as many lines wet to catch fish, obviously, so we're gonna get after it. Griff, how long have you been fishing this spot, Bob? Uh, a few years, ever since I started brown trout fishing. I guess a better question is when, when did you start brown trout fishing, a few years ago? Uh, yeah, I'd say probably five, six years ago. You catch one and you're automatically addicted, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so yeah, when this, uh, when this harbor froze over, the wind was blowing super hard in here, so there's a bunch of ice chunks that are underneath the holes. So when we're scooping out ice, we have to make sure that all the all the icebergs, if you will, are are out of the hole. Treacherous, it's treacherous. I don't have spikes on, and this is like this looks like a rolled ankle here. So that's that's fun. I'm putting on the smallest treble hook I can find. Uh, a lot of people in Wisconsin fish with automatic fishermen. Uh, if you don't know what those are, it's basically a mechanism that sets the hook for you. Um, it's legal here. It's illegal in a lot of other states. Uh, we don't have those today. We have normal tip-ups and iFish Pro, so that's gonna be what we're dicking with. Um, I don't know. These boys are freaking not only amazing fishermen, but they're amazing hunters. They're just all around outdoorsmen. So I have confidence we're gonna kill it today. You pumped? I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. You look pumped. I'm pumped. Kind of. Ah. All right, we just got a bunch of iFish Pros and tip-ups set up. Uh, I'm gonna start jigging now. I'm using our new dipstick rod with our new dinner bell spoons. It's kind of weird out here right now. The ice is like treacherous. I don't know if Mav talked about it, but basically they got a wicked north wind blown into here and then it froze. So the top of the ice is just like whoosh, treacherous and gross and nuts and we can barely even walk on it. While underneath the ice, all the slush from the main lake got pushed under. So every time we drill a hole, it just fills the slush. And I know what you're thinking, just scoop it out. Uh, it's not like that. It just kind of keeps filling and filling and filling the slush. So. It's really hard to set tip ups, really hard to set iFish pros. It's just, it's not efficient for fishing. But we're still out here, we're jigging, and uh, we're gonna give it our all. So, let's drop down and uh, hopefully mark a fish. All right guys, first drop of the day for me. I'm trying out a yellow snake belly custom jig by Frostbite, and I'm tipping it with a little creek chub. Going a little bit of a more of a finesse approach. Everybody else is using big spoons and rattle baits and stuff, so I'm gonna be a little bit different, see if I can't get those more finicky ones to bite. Um, it's my first time brown trout fishing, and we'll see if it pays off. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, come on. Just popped in and went away. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's gonna eat. Yep, on, on. Wait! Mavs on! There's something there in the wild. It's a reflection. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go, dude! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this thing's fought dogging me hard. Feels so light with this trout. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is my first brown trout I've ever had on through the ice. Oh my god, this thing's dogging me hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get my rod beneath the hole so I don't get any frays in my line. I only have eight pound test. I don't know how big this fish is, but I only have eight pound test and I have a four millimeter jig on. So I'm actually using what I would use for crappies and I got a big trout on. No way. <laughs> we were all just marking fish like at the same time. That's nuts. Yeah. That Must have had a school run through. I loosened my drag up a lot. Do you think I should tighten it a little bit? No, loosen it. Yeah, loosen it. Loosen it. Loosen it. How long do you fight these for? A long time? A long time. Okay. I'm taking my stuff. Oh my I'm taking all my gear off just in case I have to so, get down there and tail grab it. Soak an arm? Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Murdo, I've been catching walleyes on this thing. Or actually, no, I haven't caught a walleye on this thing. I, I was wondering why it felt light. I've been using the Mavitar. Yeah. This is the Murda stick. This is Murda's rod. Is it feeling good with that? It feels awesome. Thing's dogging me hard right now, but look at that rod bend. This is a perfect rod for trout, or for what we're doing right now. 
this lighter presentation especially. I can feel my jig even on this rod. What are you jigging? I'm jigging uh, the new snake belly, the yellow one. It's a five mil. And then I got a creek shove on the back of it. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. I'm serious. You have a plastic on it. Yeah. It's a big fish. Yeah. This is a big one. It's a real nice fish. I guess I really wouldn't really know, but this thing dogged me hard. I'm just assuming it's big. If you haven't caught in it yet, it's big. Yeah. It's, it's a big fish. It's got to be over 10, I'm thinking. This thing chased me up twice. I'm freezing already. And then on the third on the third run up, he he just annihilated it. I was playing keep away with him, and he just freaking smoked it. Okay, okay. Don't want to horse him up too hard. Got one little hook in him. Can I horse him up more, or what? What do no, I do no, here? No, absolutely. Take your time. Yeah. Okay. That you're staring at me because I'm being a dumbass or something. Oh no, no, you're good. You're just happy. You're, you're just hyped. <laughs> me too, dude. Oh my gosh. Especially since it's your first brown ever. Right? Well, there's nothing. I don't think you can beat fishing on the Great Lakes. Like this is stupid. There's no other fish that fights harder than a trout through the ice, as far as I'm concerned. No. No. I've been lake trout fishing before. I've caught a couple dinks, but this is definitely the hardest fighting fish I've ever had on through the ice. This ain't no dink. No. This is a. That thing's running at me, you know. Is he? He was. Your hole's clear enough, so I'll be able to see him. He's. I'm gonna get some more. I think he's still a ways out. <laughs> my big walleye and my my lake trout reel this year. I was just hoping that I'd be able to go get some trout. That scared me. That scared the shit out of me too. <laughs> I was like, no and it's getting used today. He's he's close. He's close when I do that. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm shaking right now. I don't know if it's because I'm cold or if I'm so jacked. I'm assuming it's because I'm so jacked. Oh, please, for the love of God. Just come on, please. Don't run. This is giving me really bad anxiety. <laughs> like... Can't move them. Am I on the ice? No. You're good. I can't move them, dude. Are you seriously? Am I seriously not on the ice? No, you're not on the ice. I can't even move them. Is the hook caught on the ice though? On the bottom? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> No automatic fisherman needed. Catch him jigging on some freaking crappie jigs. Are you kidding me? That's the yellow snake belly. I'd use the same thing for perch. I'd use the same thing for crappies, but I got a big old brown. Look at how colored up he is, man. All right, so Griffin and Sawyer honestly left like what, 15 minutes ago? 15 minutes. They ago. wanted to go check a different spot because we weren't marking anything Hook here. Hooked right out. If you gave him any <laughs> slack, he was getting away. So awesome. <laughs> They just left, they went to a different spot, they were gonna go check it out, and literally right when they left, 15 minutes. Whoa! You marked one, literally, Sobe marked one, and then all of a sudden I marked one, and up, down, up, down, third, time. third, third up, smoked it. Smoked that jig. Just a beautiful brown. See you later. Who <laughs> that a bit? Oh! Let's go! Yeah! That's one! Let's go! Oh Let's my go. god! I'm almost falling on this ice out here. That's one, dude. That's one. Let's go. So we literally just released that fish. I'm warming up my hands. We got the heater going. Um, holding the wet fish and what? Is it five degrees out? Holding I think five degrees, yeah. Holding the wet fish in five degrees kind of gets you cold fast. Also holding a camera in five degrees, probably not great, but so always being a bigger man about it than I am. But man, that gets a pep in your step when you <laughs> dude. put one top side. I can't believe so. Murray is actually the one that told me, "Hey, you should try a you should try a jig out. You should he try a five mil jig." He literally said this in the car this morning, yeah. and I was kind of like, "I don't know much about trout. Neither of us do really." No. And we're just like using a crappie jig, trout fishing through the ice. Like I got, I got all the new spoons in here. I got bigger jigs. I got seven mils. Like I got vibe baits. I guess you don't need that today. I guess you don't need that. So what I was using is a new custom jig we have, which is the snake belly. Which of course I'm about to put on. Which of course Sobe's about to put on. I was using the yellow color. This is the blue. I'm actually gonna give Sobe. I was gonna give him the blue, but I think I'm gonna give him a green one. Absolutely. I think, I think a green one might be might do good. So here's here's that snake belly again. This is a five mil jig, and all I did was tip that with a creek chub. So I'm gonna give you a little creek chub too, bud. Perfect. I feel like something important too is like checking your drag on a loaded rod. Oh, I have really light line. Nav has decently light line. It's just like on a loaded rod, 
checking your drag. Yeah. Not too loose, not too tight, but just something to keep them pinned. The biggest thing that I took away from that whole fight too is that I've never really fought a fish like had to move my rod like on opposite sides of the hole, move it down the hole. I've had to do it for a while. I sometimes put the rod down the hole and let them run, but um, that was like that times 10. I mean, it was like every angle you could imagine on the hole where they're the like line angle, you don't want it rub it on the ice. So you have to think of where you're gonna position your rod when the fish is running this way. You want it out when it's, if it's running at you, you wanna put it this way, pull it back if it's running away from you. Like a lot of stuff goes into it. And then even like if you have your rod tip in the water, you don't want to reel up all the way because you don't want your jig head to hit it and pop the fish out. You have to be careful of all these things, so. Here we go, fish on. Doesn't feel big. I don't know. You get my... Oh, it's a white fish. Son of a gun, just a freaking white fish. Galdang, son of a gun, I thought you were a trout. All right, well, that still got me pumped. Oh, white fish are a very stinky fish. Good table fare though, eh? They're good table fare, they're good smoked. Oh. White fish are a very stinky fish. They're really good smoked. Um, there's a lot of them around here, Murray just caught one. He came in like a trout though, so I was freaking so hyped. He just followed it up and on, up and on, up and on. All right, that's officially hour three. No more fish since I caught that one. Uh, it's been a tough day, it's been a real grind, I know. Wish that the boys could have caught some, but I can't thank Sawyer and Griffin enough for showing us their secret spot, and hopefully Jake can catch one tomorrow. It's always a good time out here with these boys. But next time, we need to remember to bring autos. We need to remember <laughs> to bring automatic fishermen, dude. Like, God. Um, there's more to come. See you later. Feeling alive. Take me back to the jungle. Take me back to the jungle.